Okay guys, welcome back to your 17th video, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up Bucky's world itself. So the first thing that Bucky probably wants is, you know, a world to walk around in. So go over and hop in in it right now, and make sure you're in your play class, obviously. And remember, we named this variable world map, and just set this equal to new image in wherever or whatever the uh, image file is named, if you downloaded everything um, from the form, it's res world dot ping. Just double checking there, it actually is named world dot ping. So now our world map, or actually Bucky's world map, is loaded into memory. Now I want to show you guys how to set up the first part of the animation. Remember I told you guys that each animation consisted of a series of images that lasted for a certain amount of time. Well, you actually since we already have the amount of time right here stored in a variable called duration we need to go ahead and set up all of the images for each of those animations so make a image array and name the first one walk up now of course this image array is going to be the animation whenever Bucky is walking up if you couldn't guess that so in order to create this just go ahead and add your little curly braces and this is going to be a very simple array. I'm just going to make a really, really basic animation that only uses two um, different images. Pretty much the smallest animation you can possibly make. But if you want to make more complex animations, then you can use the same technique, just add more images. And also, make sure that you have the same amount of time as you do number or amount of images in your animation. So, new image, okay, caps lock. Wow, I'll figure this out one day. Okay, new image, and the first one is res Bucky's back dot ping, and the second one is new image res Bucky's back dot ping. So we're basically saying, okay what's gonna essentially happen is this we say whenever you press the up arrow on your keyboard make an animation of Bucky walking upward now whenever we he walks upward we're basically starting with his back and ending with his back so basically um, well you guys will see later on once we're playing the game what's going on but that is how you create the basic basic image array needed for your animation so now we need to do this exact same thing and make three other image arrays for the three other animations walking down left and right so let me just code this down left and right and obviously we need to change the image right here so whenever he walks down we want to see the front side of him so Bucky's front and Bucky's front whenever he's walking to the left you know, this is pretty self-explanatory, but... And to the right. And someone's sexting me right now. And Bucky's right. So now let me just go ahead and make sure I didn't mess anything up. Okay, so whenever he's walking up, we want to see his back. Whenever he's walking down, we want to see his front. Left, left, and right, right. Alright, so we're good to go. So now... Basically, what we have is all the pieces that we need to create an animation in Select 2D. We have a series of images, and we also have a duration that says how long each image is supposed to last for. So now all we have to do is actually create the animation itself. So here is basically what we've been waiting for. This is how you create an animation. So let's go ahead and start with moving up. Remember, we already declared all of our animations up here, so we pretty much have to make them. So anytime you want to make an animation, of course, moving up, go ahead and write your variable, and set this equal to a new animation object, and this animation object takes three parameters. The first parameter is basically what images do you want to use in your animation? Well, we want to use for whenever he's moving up the images in this walk up image array so go ahead and pass that in now after this it says okay I see that you have two images in your walk up image array that means that I need 
One second. All right, guys. Actually, that was my friend knocking on my door. He just tried out my sensory deprivation tank, and uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. So I had to talk to him. But all right, where was I? Animation. So basically, to create an animation, you give it a series of images. Pretty much, what images do you want to use in the animation? So this is the array of images that we want to use. Now it says, okay, you have two images. Now I need an array of integers telling me how long you want each image to last. So all of the images are going to last for 200, 200. Pretty much this animation is going to be like half a second long. So in order to throw this in, just go ahead and throw in duration, which throws in the time each image is going to last. Now for this last thing just go ahead and put false right here and it has to do with um, something called auto updating and for now we don't really have to worry about it just go ahead and set it to false. So basically we created we now have a successful animation of whenever Bucky is walking up use these images which are Bucky's back. How long do we want the animation to last? Pretty much half a second and this last parameter false don't really worry about it right now now we need to go ahead and of course make three other animations just kind of you know redundant stuff we did before moving down moving left and moving right so of course the only really thing we need to change is all of these animations are going to be for the same amount of time they just use different um, image arrays so walking down walking left and walking right so now hopefully we shouldn't have any warnings or anything like that the only other thing that we need to take care of is this animation right now so remember that I said whenever basically this is how our game is going to work we have four different animations moving up moving down moving left and moving right however this animation right here is called Bucky it's gonna be set to one of these other animations so I think that's the easier way to develop a game just have one animation whatever your character name is and have them set equal to another animation and you guys will see later on why it makes it a whole lot easier than trying to mess with all of these every time so remember since we are in the init method right now this is whatever happens when we first initialize the game whenever we first start the game so by default Bucky is going to be facing us which means he's going to be set equal to the animation moving down so there you go now I don't know if anything is gonna happen when I run this game play now nope and that's because I need to do a bunch of other stuff first I actually need to draw them render them on the screen but basically we got everything initialized all the animations all of the images everything is set up we just have to you know draw everything on the screen and code everything you know I said that like it's only gonna take like two seconds it's actually you know kind of a lot of work but that's what we had to look forward to so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time